Not all ear deformities are the same. In terms of the treatment, we also have to diagnose what is the condition that the child has because the treatment is not same for all these deformities. So there are different types of ear anomalies. The first is something called as a constricted ear or a cup ear where the upper part of the ear or the helix is curved inwards to give a cup shape to the ear. There is microtia where the external ear is underdeveloped or small in size. Anosia, where the external ear is completely absent and even the ear canal may be absent. Prominent ear, where the ears are jutting outside from the scalp more than 2 cm. Cryptosia, where the upper part of the ear is buried underneath the skin and it's not very well visible. Ear lobe deformities, which affect the lower part of the ear and the ear lobe is not properly developed. Stall ear, where the upper part of the ear is bent in the form of a triangle and it caused this uh, deformity of the upper part of the ear. Accessory skin tags where are, there are small skin elevations where the normal ear should have been.